Casey Gay, the kid's American, hopping on top of his uh, motorcycle and heading off to school here at 7.34 in the morning. Stephen Rip on the 5th day of April. I'm going to mark it on my calendar, uh, calendar, too. New coffee maker on this date, April 5th. Well, let's don't jump, jump to conclusions yet. <laughs> let's make sure it gets here and uh, nothing happens between, mm. you know, the store and oh, here. So. I hope so. <laughs> What happened today in history? Well, uh, Howard Hughes died aboard a private jet while traveling from Acapulco to Houston on this day back in 1976, mm -hmm. uh, reportedly after he drank a cup of coffee from our old coffee maker out there. <laughs> no, no, not really. Uh, despite his vast fortune, Hughes spent the final years of his life holed up in isolated hotel rooms while shadowy rumors circulated about his bizarre lifestyle. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Elihu Yale. That's, I think that's what I yelled when you told me we were getting a new car. i got to get that off my mind. I, I, I'm just so excited about that. Elihu Yale was born near Boston on this day in 1648. His many hobbies included donating books to libraries and schools, uh -huh. and one such donation immortalized his name. Mm. When uh, Yale University was uh, named in honor of him in Connecticut uh, many, 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 many years ago. And his stepbrother was known as Yamo Be There. <laughs> Yamo Be There and Elihu. Yeah, yeah. There you go. The first presidential veto was exercised by George Washington on this day in 1792. Washington snuffed out a bill calling for apportionment of representation, mm. probably because he didn't know what it meant. Nice. I know I sure don't. <laughs> the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company of Akron produced the first balloon tire on this day in 1923. Okay. A new inflatable tire was designed to give auto owners a comfortable air cushion ride. Should I recap that story for you? No, you it's okay. okay. It's okay. I got it all. Let me see. What else happened on this day? Uh, I just got one other thing to tell you about. Some biblical scholars believe this is the date that uh, Noah's Ark finally touched land in the mountains of Ararat. Oh. Yes, sir, Ararat. <laughs> uh, after the Great Flood which happened uh, some 2,000 years before the time of Christ. Why don't they just go there and find it? Yeah, well, they've been trying to, that one astronaut guy. Uh, top three songs 16 years ago today were Honey. Uh -huh. uh, Bobby, o uh, Bobby Goes World. Young Girl. Gary Puckett. And Cry Like a Baby. Oh, that's easy. Ooh, the box tops. Great old classic. Today's mm -hmm. birthdays include actress Betty Davis. Mm. What an actress she is, too. Mm -hmm. 75. Gregory Peck is 68 today. ex holly singer Alan Clark is uh, 41. Agnetha Falstog of ABBA mm -hmm. is 33 years old today. Eric Burden is 43. And uh, Paul McCartney's ex, Jane Asher, is 38, along with actor Max Gale. Wojohowicz, uh -huh. he's 41 years old today. And today is Adam Jason Avina's birthday. Oh, really? He is two years old well, today. Well, happy birthday. The Terrible oh. Twos. All right. And he's yeah. already as tall as you are. Well, that's right. And he entered the Terrible Twos when he was one. So, uh, you know. <laughs> wow. Well, that's neat. So we'll have, we'll have a little birthday cake and, uh, you know, ice cream and oh, candles. Well, of course. And all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah. Lots of presents. So happy birthday, Adam. In Definitely. Case, in case you're awake right now. Mm -hmm. He's only two. He has no idea <laughs> oh, yeah. what is going on. What am I doing here? Who, who's that? Is Today's that no different than any other day, I guess, when you're that age. Also, a... Uh, kid named Chris Hund is having a birthday today. His mom called up bright and early, wanted us to mention that. Oh, okay. She said she'd, uh, she'd well, make sure that, uh, wrong with my chair that she'd make breakfast for us one of these days. So. Oh. <laughs> Those born today, including uh, Adam, are Aries. Aries' uh, astrological forecast is uh, learn to calmly communicate your feelings to a loved one. I'm sure Adam does that all the time, <laughs> doesn't he?